We turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, which seeks out innovative ideas to help our environment. For some commuters, the worst part of their morning commute is the traffic, but one French company says it has an innovation that can reduce traffic and help keep you moving. Planet Forward host Frank Cessno has more. As a former race car driver, Pierre Lefebvre loves cars. As a citizen, he hates pollution. As CEO and founder of Paris-based Induct, he tasked his engineers to do something about it. Their innovation, a driverless, fully electric shuttle vehicle called the Navia. I was very interested by uh, depolluting, and uh, I've been looking for 15 years solutions to remove the pollution inside the city. The Navia uses GPS and laser technology to calculate routes. It updates the map 25 times a second, looking 200 meters and 360 degrees around the vehicle. It carries 8 to 10 passengers. Our project is to have it into airports, into uh, industrial sites, uh, theme parks, uh, hospitals. But also we have uh, cities that are starting to, uh, to use it. The Navia can run a programmed route on a schedule or when called by a smartphone app. Their next tech enhancement would be induction charging, power up by driving over a specially equipped pad. While people get in and out, in 15 seconds we get enough energy to, to go one kilometer away. They're also working on a solar recharge. To develop the Navia's battery and charging technology, Induct has partnered with British-based Oxus Energy. If you look at the problems from the point of view of uh, cities like Shanghai, Jakarta, Beijing, these are huge metropolitan districts with you know, tens of millions of people. If you can replace the combustion engine from those cities, then of course, by definition, you will reduce pollution. The vehicle is installed in a few testing locations, a university in Switzerland, a hospital in France, and now it's on some public roads in Singapore. For the moment, it's an expensive experiment, but the Induct team hopes to bring prices down, get the traction it needs, and move the planet forward. And Planet Forward host Frank Cessna joins me now from Washington. Frank, what does it cost to run this driverless electric shuttle? Well, John, they say it costs 30 to 50 percent less to run it than to run a standard combustion engine. It's the buying it that's a problem. We asked them several times, what's the cost of this thing? Because, you know, these new technologies tend to be expensive when they're first out, and they wouldn't tell us. They said you can buy it or you can rent it, and if you rent it, it's about the same as renting another kind of vehicle. What they want to focus on, and this isn't without some merit here, is, as you mentioned, what it costs to actually run. So 30 to 50 percent to actually run it. They're working on a solar charger, as I mentioned. They'll be testing that in 2014. That'll drive the price up. But then they say, now, when you recharge the vehicle, you're recharging it from the sun, not from whatever the conventional or renewable power source is that, that costs you some money. So there's a lot of potential here. It's a great idea. It's just going to take a while, more technology, and some volume mm -hmm. to bring that price down to actually bring yeah. it to market. Very intriguing. I don't know if I'd get in a completely driverless vehicle and go across town, but, you know, you I go. do it at the airport, so what the heck? I, I hear you. Frank, thanks as always. Planet Forward host Frank Cessna, and if you have an idea you'd like to submit, visit planetforward.org. And for more environmental and sustainability news, check out bloomberg.com sustainability.